Next, after being robbed of his mobile phone in the street, a Londoner and data scientist has told us how it prompted him to come up with a way of following suspected moped criminals and letting police know where they are. He's launched a Twitter account which he hopes might track them down for other victims. As Victoria Cook explains. Here of Verdi was walking here in Hoven two weeks ago when his phone was snatched out of his hand by a man on the back of a moped. He chased after it in a taxi, but they got away. It's the first time that anything like this has happened to me in London. Um, it does leave you feeling uh, kind of angry, wanting to do something, wanting there to be some kind of a result. That's what Hera had hoped he'd get from the police, but no joy. So he's now using his skills as a data scientist to build a system which will track moped gangs live on a map. It gets its information from all of us spotting moped crime, then reporting it on Twitter. I just feel like moped crime's been a problem for long enough, uh, and it's only really getting worse uh, so far in 2017, so it's about time that something was done about it. Walking around the same area today, we spot plenty of people distracted by their phones. We're all quite preoccupied on them. Life is busy, isn't it? And it seems to be the main way of communicating these days. I've got kind of like peripheral vision, if I see things that looks a little bit you know, and towards, but I mean, it depends which area. You know, I'm, I'm uh, trying to keep vigilant, so hopefully I, you know, I won't be a victim, but I guess you never know. Hera says the police haven't been in touch with him about his idea, although he is offering to do it all for free. The police have told us that all crime should be reported directly to them, although they said that social media is a very powerful tool. Anyone with photographs or videos of crimes like this should come forward. Victoria Cook, BBC London News.